Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the design procedure of uh, design of underground rectangular water tank. So uh, we have to design uh, the underground water tank. So we have to know the procedure. So in that procedure, so we can uh, first we have to know the component of underground water tank. So we have to design for uh, four components. So first one is uh, floor slab. So second one is a uh, long wall, third one is short wall, fourth one is roof slab. So for that underground water tank, so there, this is a plan. So if this is so there are two long walls are there and two short walls are there. So again we have the floor slab and roof slab. So basically we, we are not considering the floor slab because uh, that will be uh, eliminated so because uh, we can uh, make the PCC after that we can uh, make the flooring so roof slab we have to design so there are three designs are most important so long wall short wall and roof slab okay so for that we have to know the uh, design procedures in uh, step by step so first thing is we have to know the permissible stress so this is the first foremost thing so for that we have to uh, refer IS double three seven zero for two. Then IS double three seven zero for four. So there are two IS codes uh, is required to design the rectangle under the underground rectangle work time. So for that permissible stress, so we have to know the sigma CT value, then Q. So the what is a load? Then J. Then M and n okay so for that m equal to the formula is 280 divided by 3 into sigma c b c value okay so now n equal to 1 divided by 1 plus sigma st divided by sigma c b c into m so this is the value so then j equal to 1 minus n by 3. So these are all the thing is interlinked. So once uh, we find, find out uh, everything is we can uh, find out. So for that uh, sigma ct value. So we can take the value corresponding to uh, m20 or m25 or m30 grade concrete. So as per grade concrete the sigma ct value is take, obtained from IS double three seven zero part two in the page number so in the table one page number seven okay so uh, again uh, for sigma st value we can take uh, from uh, for that uh, FE four one five or FE five hundred or FE five fifty or FE two fifty. So for that corresponding value we can take uh, from the table 2 in IS 3370 for 2 in table 2 page number 8 okay we can take the value corresponding to steel we can use then sigma ct values we can take uh, corresponding to M20 or M25 or M30 grade concrete. Okay, so after finalizing this, so we can uh, calculate uh, everything is so the M value, then uh, N value, then J value. So the permissible stress we have to calculate. Okay, so after perm permissible stress, uh, we can uh, calculate the design of a base lab. So we actually base lab, uh, now base lab design is omitted, but uh, we can uh, for the safety purpose, we can design the base lab. So second thing is design of base lab. So for the base lab, so we have to know the effective depth. 
so effective depth d is equal to span by 20 okay so we can design we can design as per uh, the slab uh, slab design so the span by 20 okay so after that the, we can uh, calculate the load so load there are self weight then line load then finish load so there are three loads so we can take the total load after total load we can take the factor load also so factor load equal to 1.5 into total load so that is factor of safety 1.5 is factor of safety so after that we can uh, calculate the bending moment bending moment equal to w l square by 8 okay so after the uh, moment calculation we can take the reinforcement ast using the formula mu divided by j into sigma st into d so using this formula we can uh, take the ast area of steel okay so now we can uh, move to second part sorry third part so design of long wall So for the long wall, we have to consider the wall is empty. So the tank is empty. So consider tank is empty. And the surrounding soil is waterlogged. okay so now the pressure so we have to know the pressure acting on the wall by the soil so p equal to gamma into h into 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi okay so now the gamma is unit weight of soil So phi is angle of internal friction. So height is h uh, is height. Height of wall. Okay. So from that we can find out the p value. So for one meter run, so the bending moment will be calculated in the water phase. So now m max equal to p so that is pressure then h square divided by 33.5 okay so this is a water phase so for away from water phase we can calculate m max equal to p h square divided by 15 okay so the for the water phase we can take 33.5 so the away from the water phase we can take 15 so from that we can calculate the maximum bending moments so from the maximum bending moment the thickness wall is considered uh, considered by cracking consideration so sigma ct values uh, we can take so now the thickness of wall as considered by cracking consideration So now sigma ct equal to m divided by b d square divided by 6. Okay, so now d equal to capital D minus 30 equal to m into 6 divided by b into sigma cbc. Okay. Okay, so now we can take the, we can uh, find out the D. So now the reinforcement. So now the reinforcement, the value, so formula is EHT equal to MU divided by sigma ST J into D. So from that we can calculate the EHT value and provide the reinforcement. Okay.
so this is the uh, design of long wall so likewise we can design the short wall and roof slab okay so now the design of short wall so for the design of short wall we don't uh, consider uh, away from the wall so water face and uh, away from the water face so we can take the simple so the maximum bending moment m max equal to p l square divided by 12 okay so there we can uh, take the p h square now we can take the p l square so now the area of reinforcement So now the area of reinforcement the same uh, formula we can use m divided by sigma st into j into d. So the distributor we have to fi find out. So distributors. So distributors uh, 0 0.3 percentage of b into d. Okay. So now we can uh, provide the reinforcement for the short wall. Okay. So now this uh, last thing is design of roof slab. So same, uh, we have to make, uh, we have to take the assume the thickness of slab. So after the assume the thickness of wall, we can take the loads, total load equal to dead load plus live load plus finishes load. So we can take that uh, three loads then factor load. So factor load is 1.5 into the factor of safety into total load. Okay. So for, for the total load we can find out the bending moment. So moment equal to W L square by A. So for the, uh, for the moment we can calculate the AST using the formula M divided by sigma st into j into d okay so for the distributors so 0.12 percentage of bd okay so here now we can uh, so here we uh, discussed uh, about uh, design of uh, uh, flow slab then design of uh, long wall then design of short wall then design of roof slab so these are all the steps we can uh, uh, followed in the so design of underground reinforced water tank. So another video we can uh, design the underground uh, rectangle water tank in the with the values. Okay. So again we will see next video. Thank you.